I get a lot of questions about pacifiers and if baby can take a pacifier, use a pacifier, and which ones are the best. As a speech therapist, I've been using pacifiers with babies in the neonatal intensive care unit to teach non-nutritive sucking and coordination of sucking for over a decade. They are a great tool in the parenting tool and bag of tricks. Um, they are great for after a feeding if baby has reflux and they just need to swallow to help them digest. They are great after a feeding if you don't want to use yourself as a pacifier and you're trying to help uh, baby transition to sleep. They are great for helping babies transition to sleep for the first six months. American Academy of Pediatrics actually recommends using pacifiers to help babies sleep to help reduce the risk of SIDS, sudden infant death syndrome for the first six months. And they're also great when in the car when you cannot physically get to that baby. In terms of my favorite pacifiers, I like a longer round um, pacifier nipple that is going to promote a good deep latch. So the Avent Sudi, the one that you most likely got in the hospital, um, is one of my favorites. It does have that nice round nipple to promote good tongue cupping, which is what we want back at the breast. Um, the Nini Co is another one of my favorite pacifiers. It's a little bigger and rounder. Um, I tend to not like the shorter rounder nipples just because these do tend to promote a straw-like latch. There's really just a nipple that's protruded with nothing for baby to round on, to grab onto. So this is the Nano BB. This is the Ryan and Rose Cutie Pat. They're almost the same length. They're this round nipple, but there's really no base to it. So baby can really struggle to grab onto that. Um, this is a new one. This is Lily and Me. This is the Lily and Me pacifier. I actually do like this one. It has a nice round shape to it, promotes that nice deep latch. And the base of this is so much bigger for baby to grab onto. It's actually even a little bigger than the Sudi. So this one um, is going to look a little more similar to that Dr. Brown's bottle nipple that can really help promote that nice flanged lip, that nice deep latch. Um, obviously you have your pinched or flat pacifiers like the ma'am. Um, this is a Chico. I tend to not like these as a speech therapist um, and lactation consultant because they do promote a different tongue resting posture than your round ones. If your baby will only take these pacifiers and you're only using it for soothing, use it. Not, not an issue. If you're struggling with latch, if you're struggling at the breast, Using these other pacifier systems to promote a deeper, wider latch can help you then transfer those sucking skills back to breast. But if you're just using it occasionally as a soother and this is what your baby will take, um, you can use those. We do want to wean off of pacifiers sometime between 6 to 12 months. Um, AAP says get them out by six months. The dentist typically will say they won't start doing dental damage until sometime between two and four years old, but best practice would still be having you wean those sometime between six to 12 months. Now you know.